Hello everybody and welcome back. Let's talk about the problem sign mice two holes. We're given n mice and n holes defined by these two arrays which contain position of each of the mice and each of the holes respectively. And a mice takes one minute to travel one unit left or right. The goal of this problem is to find the minimum time after which all mice are in holes. So basically the problem is we have to select a mice and assign it a hole so that it can travel from its position to the hole's position, taking the amount of time which is the difference between them, right? So I know this can sound a bit confusing, so let's go ahead and take an example to understand this better. So the first row tells us the positions of the mice and the second row tells us the positions of the holes. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and plot this out just for the sake of uh, clarity. So there's a mice that exists at position three, another mice at position two, and one more mice at position four position minus four. Then we have three holes, one hole at zero, one at minus two, and one at four. Pretty simple, right? The problem setup is pretty simple. Now what's the greedy solution over here? What is something that you can do greedily? Well, what you can do is assign every single mice the corresponding hole. And what I mean by that is, if you look at the mice number minus four, it can simply go to the hole number minus two. And that's because both of them occur at the first position, right? When we sort these arrays, when we sort the mice array, when we sort the whole array, we can simply iterate over them one by one. So we can say that for the first mice, we're going to assign it to the first hole. So it'll look something like this. And it'll take total of two times because it went from minus four to minus two. Similarly, now we're going to look at the second mice and assign it to the corresponding second hole. The mice moves from two to zero taking again a time of two. And then we look at the third mice and assign it to the third hole. And so this mice will go from three to four. Now, if you realize what you've done, we have assigned the mice to their corresponding holes. Why is that correct? Why will that work? Can we prove that this will always work? And so to prove that this will always work, what we can do is we can prove that the mice will never cross each other. Right? Because if they never cross each other, they will always go to their corresponding holes. Now, can we prove that the mice will never cross each other? Because if we are able to prove that, then we'll be able to prove that our greedy solution is in fact the optimal solution. So let's go ahead and take a simpler case where we just have two mice and two holes correspondingly. Now let's say that the, what we want to make these mice do is cross each other, right? Instead of going from left mice to the left hole and and the right mice goes to the right hole, we are going to say the right mice is going to the left hole and the left mice is going to go to the right hole. But here's the catch. Here's the most important thing which makes the solution happen. Both of these mice are identical. I know these mice don't have any identity of their own, which means that we can look at their paths and we can make a split in the middle. What I mean is this. I can say that the left mice takes just a slight bit longer route and ends up at the left hole. And the right mice ends up taking a longer route to go to the right hole. And now what have we done? We are saying that if the mice cross each other, that is if they have, if they are in a, this kind of configuration, then we can always say that we can split them out this way. And these mice will end up taking longer times to get to their corresponding holes which is a proof by contradiction because we will never take these longer routes. We will always take the shorter, most optimal corresponding route, which means that the sorting approach will indeed work and the greedy solution is in fact the optimal solution. So let's go ahead and code this up. The code is pretty simple. The first thing we're going to do is sort both of these arrays. So we'll sort all of the mices by their positions and sort all of the holes by their positions. We're also going to have an answer, which we start from zero. And now we're going to iterate for every single mice and every single hole in both of these arrays. So all this does is, is going to give us an iterable of the first mice and the first hole, then the second mice and the second hole, third mice and the third hole, and so on and so forth. So we'll be able to iterate over these mice and the holes effectively. And now I can simply say that the answer is the maximum of answer and the absolute difference between A and B. So which is the time mice takes, which is sitting at position A, to go to the hole at position B. And that is it. At the end, we can return the answer. So that is really it. We can go ahead and test this out and submit this as well. 
I was like, cool, this works out. So yeah, this is it for the solution to the problem. Assign mice to holes.